Hey guys, this video is a quick little uh, look at this brand new holster that I got from Armed Civilian 556. He has a, a YouTube channel, he's a fellow YouTuber. There's been several good reviews on his products lately. Uh, he does make these holsters himself, and um, I'm very happy with it. Now, of course, I can't um, CCW here because I live in California. I do have a Utah and multi-state CCW, plus I can use this at my local range. They're pretty relaxed about that. And of course, I can wear it around my house armed all I want. Um, but I decided to give it a try. I wanted to support a fellow uh, YouTuber, somebody who seems to be making a really good product, and um, just thought I'd share it with you real quick. This model is <coughs> his CX-2. He has several um, different products available. There's one that uh, will hold a tactical light. Uh, he has a new inside the waistband. He has a hybrid outside and inside the waistband um, version available. And this is the CX-2. It's an outside the waistband holster, but it has this curve to it and it hugs your hip so well that it conceals the firearm almost as well as, as one of the brand name um, high quality inside the waistband holsters. I found that it's real comfortable. I wore it around the house here for um, a few hours yesterday just to try it out. Um, I went uh, with an unloaded gun of course and I sat in my car tried that out. Um, as you may, some of you might know the bolsters on the sides of the seats can kind of dig in and um, push the gun into your rib cage. The discomfort while seated in, in the car is very minimal with this holster. Um, you just have to kind of squirm and sit the right way and the bolster uh, on your car seat won't push the gun into you. Very, very comfortable. Um, I also wanted to show you the color. I don't think that uh, another review has done, been done with this color pattern. This is what he calls the um, Forest Digital Camo and it's pretty similar to the Marines Woodland Digital um, pattern or Marpat. Not quite the same but it's real close and uh, I think it looks great. I'll zoom, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit, give you a close-up. Um, this is the thicker Kydex that he offers. He, he offers uh, holsters in 0 .06 inch and 0 .08 inch uh, thickness. I went ahead and I got the, the thicker 0 .08 and um, there's several different colors available um, including desert digital, urban digital, black, OD green, coyote tan, I think he even offers some pink um, options if you want to dress up your holster a, a little bit and uh, I've, I'm real happy with the way that this forest digital camo looks. It was a very fair price for such a good, qual uh, good quality product. Uh, he charged me $60 out the door. Uh, he didn't rip me off with shipping. Um, very, very high quality product. Now, I got mine for the Glock 19. Show you how that goes in here. And it just snaps right in. Uh, excellent, excellent retention. This thing's not going to come out. Um, you know, maybe for open carry, uh, it, since it doesn't have a retention feature, you might want to use something else. But for concealed carry and casual open carry, it's hard to beat this thing. Um, AC, I'm real happy with this. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys check out his channel. I'll put the link down in the description there. And uh, oh, the nice thing, if you do get um, a Glock holster, this was made just for the 19. This is his newer one, the second gen. Uh, it covers the trigger guard completely, which is important to a lot of people. Uh, only the, the crown of the muzzle is sticking out there. Very, very nice fit. Promotes a, a nice safe draw. That's pretty tight. There we go. And the nice thing is, uh, at least for the Glock platform, you can also use a subcompact like a G26 or G27. That'll go in there no problem. You can even put a full-size service pistol in there. This is my Glock 22. 
and you know of course it's a longer gun so it's going to stick out a bit but um, I tried this one on at home and even with this full-size Glock 22 it's uh, no problem at all um, since this is an outside the waistband holster you do have to kind of be judicious with what you wear over it you'll have to wear a somewhat large fitting shirt if you don't, if you don't want to do that um, all you need is a light jacket and it will not print at whatsoever um, also the nice thing about the outside the waistband format is you don't have to <clears throat> you don't have to wear size uh, you don't have to wear pants that are like two sizes bigger than your normal size uh, so you have more options with your wardrobe just put on a light jacket and nobody will know that it's there so once again this is from armed civilian 556 um, you have to order through him directly through through YouTube messages for now what you do is just send him a PM or a comment on one of his um, videos and he'll send you a little um, message with instructions on how to order I believe he's working on setting up um, like a merchant website but as of last week, it, it wasn't activate, uh, activated yet. Again, nice curvature, very comfortable, uh, even when seated in a car. I asked him if he was going to make, um, if he had German Flectarn camo. He does not have that yet. Uh, AC, if you make it, I'm definitely buying two, at least two more holsters from you. I'll probably buy another one for my SIG, even if you don't offer it. Um, but yeah, Armed Civilian 556 fellow YouTuber and he makes an excellent product. So you guys should check him out and uh, give him a chance. If you have any questions or comments feel free to ask him um, or you can just type them in below. And uh, AC thanks again for a great holster. Take care.